3b express yourself when you express yourself you tell people how you feel how you think your ideas one read a discuss what do you know about sign language well I know that sign language is a language just like Arabic English except that uh, in this language they don't use words they don't speak they use signs like these these are signs these signs can mean letters they can mean words or even phrases and we know that uh, this language is used by deaf people deaf means unable to hear anything and dumb people, dumb people who are unable to speak so they use signs to communicate communicate means share or exchange information, news or ideas do you know anyone who uses sign language? personally, I don't know anybody but I've seen many people use this on TV now let's move on to the reading B. Look at the first picture. Let's look at the first picture. Here's the first picture. What do you think happened to Bill? This is Bill. The blonde. The blonde boy. Blonde means yellow hair. Listen to the dialogue and check. Then read it out in pairs. What do you think happened to, to Bill? Well, first thing, he's holding his knee and he seems angry. So maybe Ali hit him, or maybe Ali made him angry, or maybe he's not looking at Ali, he's not staring at Ali, he's staring at someone else. So maybe he got into a fight and hurt his knee, or maybe he fell on the floor and hurt his knee. He's, he seems mad at something. Now we will play the recording and listen to what happened. On the train. Ouch! Not again! What happened? Four people have stepped on me so far. Big deal! We're on a crowded train! Yeah, but that guy didn't even apologise. He just made a strange gesture. Like he's hungry or something. What? I doubt it. Look, he's making more gestures with that boy over there. Oh, they're communicating with sign language. I watched a documentary about deaf people and sign language yesterday. Did you know that some signs mean letters and some mean words or even phrases? I didn't know that. I wonder what he said to me. I'm really curious. We'll check on the net when we get to my place. What do you think they're talking about now? Beats me. Now stop staring. Later at Ali's home. You've been on that laptop for half an hour. Have you found anything yet? This website about sign language. It's great! You can find anything you want here, and there are short videos that show you how to sign. Watch this one. That's what the boy on the train did. He made a circle on his chest with his fist. What does it mean? It means sorry. You know what? I'd like to learn sign language. Maybe I'll have a go. They have classes at the youth club. Count me in too. Sounds like fun. Okay. Now is our turn to read this and clarify these words inside boxes. If you noticed, I put some of these words and phrases inside red boxes and some in violet boxes. These violet boxes, these are expressions that mean something in the English culture. And these expressions can be found in the exercise that follows this reading okay from the top on the train ouch not again so Bill is complaining that something happened to him over and over again what happened four people have stepped on me so far when you step on something you place your foot on it so four people stepped on Bill so far it means until this moment big deal oh it's nothing important it's a it's a crowded plane we are on a crowded
train. Crowded means full of people, so this happens naturally. This is normal to happen that people step on each other's feet because the, the train is very crowded. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but that guy didn't even apologize. He did not even say that he is sorry. When you step on somebody's foot, you say that you're sorry. He just made a strange gesture. He did something with his hand, um, like he's trying to say something, but he didn't say anything. He just did something with his hands and his head. Like he's hungry or something. Maybe he, he was signing that he needs food. What? I doubt it. That means that's, that's impossible. Someone step on someone's foot and he make a gesture that he's hungry. So that's impossible. I doubt this. Uh, that means I don't believe it. Look, he's making more gestures. He's making more of these signs. With that boy over there. Oh, they're communicating with sign language. They are communicating. They are sharing thoughts, news, ideas with signs. Signs, they are using signs. I watched a documentary about deaf people. Deaf people, people who are unable to hear anything. And sign language yesterday. Did you know that some signs mean letters? Some of these signs that I showed you, they mean letters. Like, I'll show you the picture again. Uh, some of these signs can mean letter F, letter B, letter C. And they can mean words or even phrases. A phrase is a small group of words standing together as a conceptual unit, typically forming a component of a clause. Bill, I didn't know that. I wonder what he said to me. I wonder means I don't know, but I really want to know. I'm really curious. I really want to know. When you are curious about something, you want to know what it means or what it is. We'll check on the net when we get to my place. What do you think they are talking about now? Beats me. Now stop staring. Beats me means I have no idea. Please don't ask me. This is the meaning of beats me. No, it's not like when you are beating somebody, when you hit somebody, when you hurt somebody. Uh, Bill is asking Ali a question. Ali doesn't know the answer, so he says, Beats me. Means, I don't know. Don't ask. Now, stop staring. Do you see what he is doing? He is staring at the boy. Staring means he is really looking. His eyes are fixed on the boys. He is not moving his eyes. That's the meaning of staring. Later, at Ali's home. Now they are at Ali's home and he is searching for something using his laptop. You've been on that laptop for half an hour. Have you found anything yet? Until this, until this moment, did you find anything? Well, this website about sign language, it's great. You can find anything you want here. And there are short videos that show you how to sign. Well, they are looking at the website. This website is very informative. They show videos about sign language. Watch this one. Come, look. Look at this video. That's what the boy on the train did. He made a circle on his chest. This is what the boy on the train did. Which part of the body is the chest? This is the chest. This is the chest. The part between uh, your neck and your belly. This is the chest. And the boy made a circle. See, he is making a circle on the chest with his fist. What is the fist? The fist is the hand when the fingers are bent in toward the palm and held there tightly. So this is the fist. What does it mean? It means sorry. Um, Bill was angry that the boy didn't apologize, but actually the boy wasn't able to speak, so he did this. He made a circle on the chest using his fist. So he was apologizing, he was saying sorry using sign language, but Bill didn't understand. You know what? 
I'd like to learn sign language. I want to learn more. Maybe I'll have a go. Maybe I will try to learn sign language using this website. They have classes at youth club. Oh, at the youth club, they give classes to teach you how to use this sign language. And Bill will give it a go. Means he'll try it. He'll join this club. Ali says, count me in. Me too. I want to join too. This is the meaning of count me in. Sounds like fun. This seems interesting. Now let's answer these exercises. First exercise C. Look at the expressions 1 to 5 from the dialogue and match them with the meanings A to E. These are the expressions. They were inside violet boxes in the reading. If you forgot what they mean, get back to the reading and find out. Big deal. Well, if you remember, Ali said this when Bill was complaining that four people stepped on his foot. He told him, big deal, it's not important, forget about it. The train is crowded, normally people will step on your foot. So, A, it's nothing serious, it's not important, don't mention it. I doubt it. I doubt it. Ali said this when Bill said that the boy stepped on his foot and he didn't say that he's sorry, he just made a strange gesture like he's hungry. And he said, I doubt it, That's, that doesn't make any sense, I don't believe that. Uh, he can't step on your foot and say that he's hungry. B, I don't think so. Probably you misunderstood the gesture. 3. Beats me. Ali said this when Bill asked him about what the boys are signing to each other. It means, I have no idea. Stop asking me. I don't know. 4. I'll have a go. Uh, Bill said this when he watched the video about the sign language. He got interested into learning this language and he said, I'll give it a go. Because they give lessons at the youth club, he will join the club to learn more about sign language. It means E. I'll try it. And then Ali said, count me in. That means I want to join too. I want to learn about this sign language too. D. Read the dialogue again and answer the questions. Why is Bill annoyed? When you are annoyed, you are not happy about something. You are feeling uncomfortable with something. Why is Bill annoyed with the boy? He stepped on his foot and he didn't apologize. Because he stepped on him and didn't apologize. He actually he apologized in his own way using sign language, but Bill didn't understand. 2. What does Bill think the boy's gesture mean? Well, he thought he meant he was hungry. Well, the boy actually meant he was sorry. 3. Can Bill and Ali understand what the boys are signing? No, they were unable to understand. They had to go home and search the internet for the meanings of these signs. 4. What's special about the website Ali has found? Why is this website on the internet unique, special, different? Because in that website, they have videos the website shows short videos of sign language. How can you sign sorry? If you can't speak and you want to sign that you are sorry, what do you do? You make a circle on your chest using your fist. 6. How can you tell that Bill finds sign language interesting? Well, in the end he said that he will give it a try, that he will give it a go. He wants to learn more. This is how we can tell that he is interested. He actually likes this. He want to learn. He wants to learn it at the youth club. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. Goodbye.